minutes and describes an angle of 2 pi radian complete revolution gives 2 pi radian this is a position of minute and after 20 minutes angle is theta and 10 centimeter is a length of minute hand so for 60 minutes 2 pi radian so for 20 minutes how much so angle is 2 pi by 3 radian now the distance moved by tip of minute hand is nothing but the arc length of corresponding to the angle 2 pi by 3 the required distance that one can obtain using the formula r into theta that is radius is 10 and theta is 2 pi by 3 so distance moved by tip of minute end after 20 minutes is 20.94 units and area covered by minute hand in 20 minutes will be we can obtain using this formula that is 1 by 2 r into s radius is 10 and area covered by area covered by minute hand is 20.94 when we simplify we will get 104.7 square units now try the following example find out the distance moved by tip of minute hand of length 20 units and area covered by minute hand in 18 minute answer is 37.68 that is the distance covered by tip of minute hand and area is 376.8 now we will discuss history of trigonometric functions the first use of the idea of sine in the way we use it today was in the work Aryabhatyam by Aryabhat in AD that is Anno Domini 500 Aryabhatta used the word Arda Jia for the half chord which was shortened to Jia or Jiva in due course. When the Aryabhatyam was translated into Arabic, the word Jiva was written as it is. The word Jiva was translated into signs which means cow when the Arabic version was translated into Latin. Soon the word science also used as sign become common in mathematical texts throughout Europe. An English professor of astronomy Edmund Gunter in 1580-1626 first used the abbreviated notation sign. The origin of the term cosine and tangent was much later. The cosine function arose from the need to compute the sine of the complementary angle. Aryabhatta called it Kotijia. The name of the name cosinus originated with the Edmund Gunter. In 1674, the English mathematician Sir Jonas Murray first use the abbreviated notation cos. Let us try to understand what do we mean by trigonometric ratio. There are three kinds of trigonometric ratio we will learn. First is sine ratio, second is cosine and third is tangent ratio. First sine ratio we will try to understand definition of sine ratio. For any right angle triangle, what do we mean by sin theta? Sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. This is opposite side and this is hypotenuse. It is in different color that you can see on the screen. Now cosine ratio, definition of cosine ratio. Relation of cosine to the sides of right angle For any right angle triangle, this is ang for angle theta, what do we mean by cos theta? Cos theta equal to adjacent side along the angle theta over hypotenuse. 
now what do we mean by tangent ratio first we will discuss definition of tangent and then relation of tangent to the sides of right angle triangle definition of tangent ratio for any right angle triangle tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side to remember our trigonometry ratio we can think of the following so ka toha means soh 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 means sin means opposite by hypotenuse cah means cos means cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse and is cos theta by sin theta trigonometric identities uh, you have this you have learned this identities in 10 standard sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 1 plus 10 square theta is sec square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is cosec square theta cosec theta equal to 1 by sin theta sec theta is 1 by cos theta cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta that you can understand this this is a trigonometric identity sin square plus cos square is 1 1 plus cot square theta is cosec square theta tan square theta plus 1 equal to sec square theta tan theta is sin theta by cos theta and cot theta is cos theta by sin theta we will try to understand this on table you can see this circle i have written six trigonometric function tan sec cosec cot cos and sin what do we mean by sin theta any function is its two neighbors multiplied together sin theta is nothing but cos theta into tan theta this is the easiest way to remember all the six trigonometric functions for example sec theta can be written as tan theta into cosec theta tan theta equal to 1 by cot theta and cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta sin theta is 1 by cosec theta and cos theta is 1 by sec theta or sec theta is 1 by cos theta let us continue on presentation signs of trigonometric function in all quadrants in first quadrant this is the right angle triangle with angle theta here in first quadrant as we know that x and y both are greater than 0 by pythagoras theorem one can write r equal to root x square plus y square sin theta means opposite side by hypotenuse that is y by r it is greater than 0 cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse that is x by r which is also greater than 0 as x and r both are greater than 0 tan theta is sin by cos that is y by x it is also greater than 0 cot is 1 by tan that is x by y sec is 1 by cos that is r by x greater than 0 cosec theta is r by y cosec theta is 1 by sin so in first quadrant if you observe all trigonometric functions are positive now we will discuss in second quadrant in second quadrant if you see x is less than 
y is greater than 0 and radius is root x square plus y square using Pythagoras theorem is sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse that is y by r it is greater than 0 as y and r both are greater than 0 cos theta is x by r it is less than 0 in second quadrant cos is less than 0 because x is less than 0 and r is greater than 0 tan theta is sin theta by cos theta that is y by x it is also less than 0 because x is less than 0 cot theta is 1 by 10 so it is also less than 0 sec theta is 1 by cos theta it is also less than 0 and cosec theta is 1 by sin theta it is greater than 0 so if you observe in second quadrant sin and cosec both are positive and remaining other trigonometric functions are negative in third quadrant if you see x and y both are negative and radius is radius means it is hypotenuse root x square plus y square sin theta is negative in third quadrant sin theta means opposite side by hypotenuse that is y by r y is negative and r, hypotenuse is positive that is r cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse that is x by r tan theta is positive as sin and cos both are negative and tan theta is sin by cos theta cot theta is 1 by tan theta so it is also positive in third quadrant sec theta is r by x it is negative because cos is negative function cos x is r by y as sin is y by r it is also negative as y is less than 0 in fourth quadrant x is greater than 0 and y is less than 0 and radius that is hypotenuse is root x square plus y square which is greater than 0 so what do we mean by sin theta sin theta is y over r y is less than 0 so sin theta is negative in fourth quadrant cos theta is positive because cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse that is x over r which is greater than 0 tan theta is y over x as y is negative so y by x tan theta is negative cot theta is x over y tan is 1 by cot so it is also negative sec theta is r by x it is positive because r and x both are greater than 0 and cosec theta is r by y it is less than 0 as sin is negative so you can remember in first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive in second quadrant sin and cosec both are positive and other trigonometric functions are negative in third quadrant tan and cot are positive and other trigonometric functions are negative and in fourth quadrant cos and sec are positive other trigonometric functions are negative that you can remember as ASTC all sin tan cos in first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive in second quadrant sin and cosec are positive in third quadrant tan and cot and in fourth quadrant cos and sec are positive other trigonometric functions are negative let us see example cot theta is minus 12 by 5 theta lies in second quadrant find the values of other trigonometric functions we will discuss on table cot theta is given minus 12 by 5 by right angle triangle this is angle theta this is angle 90 degree so what do we mean by cot theta adjacent side by opposite side so hypotenuse that we can consider as r and that we can find using the Pythagoras theorem so r square equal to 5 square plus 12 square 
that is 169 so r square equal to 169 r equal to 3 13 so we can find other trigonometric function tan theta is 1 by cot theta or at uh, opposite side by adjacent side that is 5 by 12 as theta lies in second quadrant so in as we know that in second quadrant 10 is negative sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse that is 5 by 13 in second quadrant as we know that sin theta is positive cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse that is 12 by 13 in second quadrant cos is negative so value is minus cosec theta is 1 by sin theta that is 13 by 5 in second quadrant cosec is positive and last is sec theta sec theta is 1 by cos theta that is 13 by 12 in second quadrant sec is negative so value is minus the same example we will discuss on presentation by using the formula. Cot theta is given minus 12 by 5 and as we know that tan theta is 1 by cot theta. So minus 5 by 12 and using the identity sec square theta equal to 1 plus tan square theta we have used another method to solve the same example. So sec square theta equal to 169 by 144. So sec theta equal to plus or minus 13 by 12. And as we know that theta lies in second quadrant and in second quadrant sec is negative. So sec theta equal to minus 13 by 12. Which gives value of cos theta because cos theta is 1 over sec theta that is minus 12 by 13. And as we know that sin theta equal to 10 theta into cos theta. So it is 5 by 13. 